Today we're going to be showing you how to install a slide cable into your slide carb. It works for all of the carbs, whether it's an OKO, PWK, or Makuni. It's all pretty much the same. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to show you kind of what to do, make it very simple. You're going to take this out, these two screws. I know this is kind of boring watching people unscrew stuff. Hold your hand here so this way that it doesn't come unsprung because there is a spring in there. If these screws are very, very tight, you can always take a pair of needle nose vice grips and put it on the head and just break it loose. So you're going to take this off just like this. Now the cable is going to go through here. So sometimes you're going to get a cable. It's going to look like this. It's not going to go inside. And what that's from is sometimes the zinc is a little bit too thick. So sometimes you have to basically either take some sandpaper or a file and smooth that out, round it out. Same cable, same manufacturer, and one of them actually fits. One of them doesn't. And again, it's how long the zinc normally is in there. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the cable, put it through here just like this, and you're going to pull this so there will be no slack. You're going to put the spring through here. I like to take this off. Now if you have a pair of vice grips you can, or a pair of the scissors that have the little clamps on them, you can hold that like that as well. Most of us don't have those. So um, what you're going to do is you're going to take this put this inside and make sure to take note of this this is actually go gonna go into the slide and the round part goes against this round part right here so I'm gonna put this in just like this and it has to fit inside that little groove just like that so what you gonna do is you gotta turn this so that it fits correctly and you can let the spring out Now, if your cable looks like this, that means it's not incorrect. That is not the correct way it needs to go. The reason why that looks like that too is because this piece was not in all the way. So again, you hold this, this cable in. See, it doesn't want to go in. So, again, make sure that your fingers are not slippery. And then put this in. Just like that. We take a little tiny flat tip screw, screwdriver, push it in. some tension on it. Again, if the little nipple is sticking out of here, that is the incorrect way. If you look in here, you're going to want to make sure that the round part is against this round part. And that's how it goes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to put the gasket over. You're going to make sure that the gasket is correct. And as you can see here, that is not correct. So we have to take this out and put it back. So sometimes you'll get that. You'll get where it will pop off. And the reason why that is is because there's no tension on the cable. So sometimes it gets a little frustrating. I'm go ahead and put this back on. Pull this. And I'm kind of glad that it actually did that because you see sometimes things don't go perfect. Checking to make sure that it's incorrect. There it is. Push it down. And give it some tension. 
this is how it's going to look inside of your carb usually when you pull it out remember this is not attached to your throttle tube so this is how it should look then make sure you put your gasket on correct Just like this It's going to go inside. Make sure that the D goes in. I'm trying to kind of install all this so you guys can see it. Just goes in nice and smooth. this and now that spring's wanting to push out all the time so I'm just going to put one screw in These don't have to be super, super tight. I don't know if you can see this. I'll turn it around this way. It should be nice and smooth, just like that. Right here, this is an adjuster. So if you need to take out some slack, you also have an adjuster here. And then on our cables, we have an adjuster here as well. Remember all the cables come dry. They need to be lubed with cable lube, even WD-40 if you have it. Something's better than nothing. So once you have this on, we're gonna kind of show you some of the parts of the carburetor. This right here is your idle. And what we recommend is you back this all the way out. You can back it all the way out if you want, just so there's a little bit of tension on it. As you screw this, it actually raises the slide. This is your fuel inlet. This right here is your fuel mixture screw. And on the OKO 28s and 30s for the carbs, we usually like to go all the way in. And then we do a half turn out to start with. This is your overflow. Sometimes you'll have a tube coming out of this. You can put a tube in there if you need to. And this is your choke. This gets pulled up when you want to start your, uh, your motorcycle or your scooter. Once you start it, let it run for about a minute and you can push it back down. And then we also have on the 28s a vacuum line. This gets plugged if you're using it on a scooter. Um, on a 30 carb, 30 mil carburetor, it's already plugged up. And that's pretty much it. This is the float bowl uh, screw. You can open this up if you ever needed to change the carb or change the uh, drain the carb. You open this up and it actually all the fuel would come out of there. Pretty simple. This is the same whether it's a OKO carb or a Mukuni carb, as long as it's a flat slide carb, it's going to be the same. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching.